Come on. Hello, beautiful kings and queens. Hello, hello. Hello, how y'all doing today? Thank you to all those that are tuning in right now with your girl, Mother Earth. Hello. Hi, King. How you doing? Good. How are you? God bless you. I'm on. I'm on set of the family business right now, so oh. I'm inside of the Winnebago. Oh. And uh, took took the opportunity to uh, to come on with you, and uh, so production changed one of the scenes, so we can so we can get on and do our thing. Okay. Thank you so much, King. First of all, I'm so honored to be interviewed today. I'm such a huge, huge fan, I must say. I first seen you on the episode Soul Food back in the day, and I was a baby. I ain't going to tell you how old I was, but I was a baby. So I'm like, who is this man on this screen? He is such a <laughs> baby. So I appreciate you so much for interviewing with Mother Earth today. So, King, so how's your day going? I know you're very, Every, very Everything is great. We are, uh, you know, we're filming the second season of the family business. Yeah. And uh, so we're on the second half of the second season. And uh, it's it's great, man. We're, we we are just putting fire on film. And so, you know, for the fans, this is going to be really, really exciting for them to see. Definitely, definitely, King. So, King, so tell me, you know, what made you want to pursue acting? Acting... Um, for me was something that was a natural process that came mm -hmm. after choreography. You know, I, I choreographed for a long time and because all of the dreams came true that I desired as a choreographer, uh, it was time to do something new that was going to challenge me. And so chore choreography, I transferred that energy to acting. Mm, okay. So is it something that you always wanted to do? Or is no, it so oh, not okay. at all. No, oh, not okay. at all. Uh, honestly, it was, it was something that I think that I had to do because mm -hmm. it was a part of the, the arts. And because my dreams had come true as a dancer and a choreographer, I needed to do something that was going to challenge me as much. So I looked at the people who really inspired me. Mm -hmm. And so they were dancer choreographers, you know, Gregory Hines, John Travolta, Fred mm -hmm. Astaire, right. Gene Kelly, Debbie mm -hmm. Allen, Rita Moreno, right? So right. all of these people, Ray Bulger, you know, all of these people were dancer choreographers. And I mm -hmm. said, I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And so I jumped right into the, to the acting field about six months mm -hmm. after I was said okay i'm done with dancing six months later i was on soul food mm. king wow that 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 is amazing sometimes you know sometimes it's just it's, it's god's time and, and sometimes we may have a plan we may think things are gonna go a certain way and god turn it around and lead you somewhere else so king so tell me what keeps you you know very motivated in this industry because i know it's very competitive everywhere you know i'm a host very competitive what you're doing an actor the author the entrepreneur is very very competitive so tell me what keeps you motivated King. well something that you said it's always god's time so mm -hmm. i i work with knowing that i i mm -hmm. work with not feeling like i have to do something in a certain amount of time mm -hmm. i focus on my now and i focus on my creativity I don't right. focus on money. Money comes when you're living your passion. Money comes when mm. you're being creative. If you try to follow the money, you may get lost. You mm. know, there's counterfeit out there, right? Right. So that's the same thing. So if you stay true to yourself mm. and you keep it real with you, then mm. you know that God is always going to align you with God's purpose for your life. And Free. so, I, you know, I stay in that and I, and I live there. And for me, what inspires me is, is knowing that God said, knock and the door shall be open, asking ye shall receive. 
So mm -hmm. my job, if it says ask, then my job is to find out what questions. I have to ask the best questions mm -hmm. to get the best answers in order to get the best results. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I don't take everything seriously. I enjoy my life. I stay as creative as I can be. And I give as much as I can. Mm. And so I just, I use what is being given to me and I give away the rest. Right. Mm. You know? Yes. And I find that when you do that, there's always more to give. Mm. Right? Because right. when you receive and you give, you give again. Mm. So when you receive, you give. And when you give, be ready to receive. And when you receive, be ready to give. So it's the law of reciprocation always at work. Right, right, right. So so can you, you know what's important, what you just said is is you give and you shall receive. You know, many people don't see, it, it's the little things that you do daily in your life that, that, that will inspire the next person, that, that will get you to where you need to be. And I preach on my show, it's so important is to be yourself, you know, not try to be like everybody else, but stay in your own lane. Because once you tap into who you are, everything is history. God's going to take That's you right. up high. And I preach that so constantly, King. So I'm glad that you said that, King. So, so King, so tell me, you know, how important it is to, to just just stay, you know, level-headed in this industry, you know, not get above yourself, you know, always remember who you are, because you got a lot of arrogant people out here, and you know, it, it's, it's okay to have arrogance, but it's not okay to be, you know, cocky. So tell me how important it is to distinguish between those two. Well, I look at it like a car. Mm. You know, if you ask a person what's the most important part to the car, most likely they're going to say the engine. Mm. But the engine won't start without the spark plug. Right, And even if the spark plug works and the engine works, if mm -hmm. you don't have a tire on your car, you can't drive it. And even right. if you have all your tires on your car, mm. but you don't have water in your car, antifreeze is going to overheat. So there's no such thing as one part of your car right. being more important. It takes every aspect, every component of your car. That's like your life. Right. Every working part of your life is important. Every mm. spiritual part of your life is important. Mm. Every physical, every emotional, every mental part is all a part which gives you the altitude mm. in your life. So you right. got to check your attitude. You got to mm. check your surroundings. You got to check who's around you. Are they drawing your energy? Are they mm. energy vampires? Ooh. Are they feeding you? Right. Are you being nurtured? Are they mm -hmm. vitamins and minerals for you? Or are you being depleted? So all of these components are very, very important. They're all the working pieces, like to a car. And if mm. one of them goes bad, so will you. Mm. If Amen. you're connected to it. You see, because if we're so deeply mm. connected and rooted in connection with something or someone, when mm. it goes bad, so will you. So mm. a lot of people are trapped in a space, in a place, and they can't understand why they can't move. They can't mm. understand why things aren't getting better for them. Mm. And they're mad at people who are living their best life. Mm. Mm -hmm. But if they would just stop and stop mm. trying to keep up with the Joneses and the Johnsons mm -hmm. and pay attention to who they are, what right. they want, and then if they ask their question, why do I want what I want? What meaning and what value does it have in my life? Once you get that answer, then you can move because you know you're already validated by the most high anyway. So mm. you don't need anybody else's approval. And then you can move forward knowing that you're blessed by the best. Mm, mm, mm. King, you, 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 man, I need, I need to hear that, King. You, you just preach. Yes, Lord, preach. So, so King, so tell me, you know, the importance of your clothing line because some of what you just spoke is in your clothing line which is a beautiful clothing line and i'm waiting on my shirt right now as we speak i can't wait to receive it it's, it's but, probably at the post office right now yes yes king so king so tell me about your clothing line and i and i appreciate you you know so many people do interviews and they talk about how amazing it is but as soon as my management 
Mm. Got off the computer with you. You ordered a T-shirt. Yes, so yes. you showed your full support immediately, right. and it shows. If each one teach one, then we can reach one. Mm, preach. Mm -hmm. You see, and so that's what it's really about. The T-shirt mm -hmm. line is called God's Billboard T-shirts. Yes, it's about being a billboard for God, mm. being a billboard for good. You don't mm -hmm. even have to open your mouth, but your shirt will do the talking. Mm. It it's about positive affirmations. It's about being lifted up high. It's about feeling good about me before I can feel good about anybody else. Mm -hmm. It's about knowing that I'm validated before I look for anybody else's approval. It's about knowing that I have the right and the ability given to me mm -hmm. by the Most High God right. to do what I need to do for myself and my family or right. for you and your family or whoever is represented by those shirts. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the shirts says, I'm more than enough. And I, I approve this message. That's right. All that the other shirt says, I'm already right. validated by the most high. I don't need mm. your approval. Thank mm. you for your opinion. Thank mm. you for your words. But I don't need them to know that I'm right. good, that I'm coming, mm. that I'm blessed. Yes. Yes, King. Yeah. King. Yes, King. And tell me how important it is, King, to have faith. You know, faith is something that is directly attached to vision. Mm. You can only see so far, right. but a vision will pull you to where you want to be. Mm. Faith will pull you to where you want to be. Scripture says, if you only had the faith of a mustard seed, a mustard seed mm -hmm. is like the tip of this toothpick. Right. If you had that much faith, that's the size of a mountain. And you can get to, because thoughts become things. Think. Out of the ether, mm. we manifest in the physical world. God gave us everything that we needed to be successful. Mm. Everything. He said, if right. you have the faith of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. That means you can do anything. Mm. If you look at a little ant, mm. ants, once they get together, they move big watermelons. Right. Think about that. Right. Little tiny ants. Mm -hmm. We could do anything if we want, if we put our heart, our spirit, and our mind to it. We don't mm -hmm. have to worry mm -hmm. about what somebody else has because we have. And Ooh. we can have so much that we can be abundant. Mm. You know, when I look at so many people who mm -hmm. are role models to me, Jim Brown, The Rock, Kevin Hart, 50 hmm. cent. I mean, you 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 look at these people who are doing it and have done it. Shonda Rhimes, Felicia hmm. Henderson. Yes. You know, it, it's like it's so beautiful to know that they came from somewhere and they ended up somewhere else. But the beautiful part about it hmm. is that they're still on their journey. Mm -hmm. Look at look at production. They let me switch scenes to do this interview with you. That's a sister helping a sister out. Andy Brown was like, go do that interview with that sister. We got her. Our Tell deputy her producer, I'm... Andy Brown, yeah. was like, go do that interview with that sister. We'll shoot you after your interview. That's a sister looking out for a sister. Mm -hmm. You see? That's a beautiful thing. It if is. each one teach one, we could reach one. And as mm -hmm. long as we are in a position to rise, we can pull somebody up who's willing to use their strength to pull with us. Because if I'm just trying to pull you and you ain't pulling with me, you may pull me down. Mm -hmm. When I give you my hand, You may be too heavy energetically, spiritually, and mentally for me to carry you. You got to be willing to do the work. If you ain't right. willing to do the work, you might as well say goodbye to the money. Right. Mm. Hello. Because when you ain't Hello. willing to do the work, that means you ain't willing to get the money. You can't put $100 mm. in the bank and expect to get 1000 out. Right. That doesn't make sense mathematically. 
you only put a hundred dollar check in there, but you want to deposit, uh, but you want to withdraw a thousand. You ain't put a thousand dollars worth of energy into the dollar work. Right. Right. So right. I just tell people from where I sit, you go through things. Don't complain about them. You go through them so you can grow mm -hmm. through them. And when you mm. grow through them, learn so you can glow through them. Mm. So you go through it to grow through it to glow through it. Right. Right. King, I, I, I tell you, it, it, it's such an honor. You don't know how much this means to me right now, talking to you. You, you, are, you are helping me because, honestly, I've had a rough week. And, and, and you just really inspired and lifted me up to keep going no matter what. And, and how important to, is it to have faith? Those, those are so, so important. So, so King, so tell me uh, about some of your projects that you are currently working on. We are talking about the family business. You also have Double Cross. So tell me some other projects that you are working on. I give thanks. Like I said, right now, I'm on the set. I'm on the set. You know, you're looking at, you're looking at Orlando Duncan right now. You know yes, what I, mean? I am. I know. You're looking at <laughs> you're looking at Orlando Duncan right now. So yeah. I'm on the set of Family Business, um, second season, second half. And as you know, come in. As you know, come in. And and as you know, we are um, we just finished rapping on Double Cross, mm -hmm. uh, second season. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, come, come on in. I, I want the people to see you real quick. Oh my God. So we have what's called the AD on set. And this is Erica, everybody. Oh, she makes sure that I get to set on time. She makes sure the lines are changing. You know what I'm saying? I get the line changes. And uh, that's the first, first AD on set, which is assistant director to the official director. So we have a lot of women that we work on set, thankfully, you know, and, uh, you know, the energy is high vibrations here only. And um, same thing with Double Cross. Shout out to my Double Cross family. You know, I'm, I'm double time blessed. You mm. know what I'm saying? By the best. You yes. know, I got two hit TV series. Yes. And um, I'm just, I'm thankful to the Double Cross family. You know, um, it, it's so amazing. Crystal and Howard Gibson and them Gibsons on UMC. So we're going to be coming back. We already finished the second season a couple of weeks ago. Shout out to, to all my Double Cross family out there. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think uh, the new season will be premiering uh, in December, if I'm not incorrect. Um, and then I've just been blessed with my own channel on the XOD network. So you're going to be seeing a lot of the films that I produced and directed. We launched November 18th. So please download the XOD Experience app. Mm -hmm. And November 18th, um, please join me on my channel and stream everything on the Darren Henson channel. Stream it. You can download it and keep it on your computer, or you can stream it and, and just watch it whenever you want. But the XOD channel, the XOD Experience, uh, I officially have my own channel on the XOD network. Shout out to the XOD family. So mm. please join me on my channel November 18th. November 18th. Yes, 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 King. Yes, King. We got some beautiful content on there. Yes, yes, King. So, King, I, I, I just want to take the time out and tell you I really, really, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate you so much just, just for talking to me today. You didn't have to. Thank you so much. And, and I also appreciate you being a gift to this world, being a legend. We need more black brothers like you in this world, you know, uplifting one another, you know, celebrating a legacy, you know, trying to build something in a positive aspect to the world. We always need that in, that, in this world. And I appreciate it so, so much. And you got to talk about you and your beautiful wife's uh, channel. You all will be launching. You got to talk about that, King. That's right. Uh, yeah. a shout out to, to of, of course, uh, my wife, Tari, uh, yeah. Tari Henson. Uh, we're going to be doing a reality show together. Y'all goes, by the way. I you can't know. wait to get mine. Y'all goes. <laughs> yes. She, um, you know, her, her Instagram is um, all natural T, A-U natural T. Um, so please visit her page, follow her. 
but you know what what people don't know is mm -hmm. that um my my wife is a chef um as well as a model you, you guys see her and, and yes she models but she's also a chef mm -hmm. and so now we're gonna expose that um Aww. on the channel so you will be seeing that reality show with her and i on on my darren henson channel um, and, and you hear me say it, I said it before I say it again, my, my life is amazing because I get to share it with her. So, mm -hmm. you know, the, the love is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Is. And, um, you know, she, uh, she's just an amazing, beautiful woman and I'm blessed, mm -hmm. you know, to, to be with her. You know, I'm a, I'm a very blessed and lucky man. So. Yes. Yes. King, King, before we get out, tell me how important it is to have the right person when you, when you get with somebody. And, and you say, I love this person. Tell me how important it is to have the right person in your life, in your corner. Because I, This you know, is I'm going out to the people, sisters I know and the brothers. <laughs> this is, thank, thank you for asking me that question because this yeah. is for the sisters and the brothers. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I think women have a tendency to, you know, think that they can get by. Brothers have a tendency to think that they can mm -hmm. get past certain things. No, we all have to live responsibility because, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. people talk about karma. Karma mm -hmm. is dealing with, with individual thoughts and actions. Right. And so, you know, when it comes to any form of payback, revenge, you don't got to do that. Ladies, you don't got to lose yourself trying to pay some dude back so you're going to sleep with 10 men because mm -hmm. the dude cheated on you. So mm. now you're devaluing yourself. Mm. You're Preach. devaluing your body. You're mm. devaluing your spirit. You're devaluing your mind. Mm. Some dirt don't wipe off. Mm. Some dirt don't clean off. Say that again. Mm -hmm. And fellas, same thing. Mm. It don't make you a man to sleep with 10, 20, 30 women. It don't, that does, that's not manhood. First of all, you killing your prostate which is why you always hear about old men getting prostate cancer because mm. they skied it off so much in their young adult life. They have unhealthy prostates. They mm. can, you know, skeet, 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 skeet to the windows, to the walls is fly. It's <laughs> not right. fly. Look it up. It's mm. not fly. You really need to learn about your body and take care of it. Mm. You, you losing so much minerals mm. from your body. I mean, if you listen to Brother Blue Pill, if you listen to Brother Rizza, Ben X, I mean, they'll all tell you, man, you got to stop that, save that. Mm. If you ever see women who have, you know, dealt with chastity or, or, or kept away from sex, they got to glow, they got to shine. Mm. When you see brothers who, who stay away from having sex and, and meditate and pray and and cleanse their bodies, they got to glow, they got to shine, they got youth, they look youthful, you know what I'm saying? They look, they look amazing right, because right. That's why I love you. Yes, yes. You, you get that glow <laughs> back because your spirit is, is glowing, it's right. abundant, you get that energy back. So fellas, maintain your, your physical essence, which is connected to your spiritual essence, which is your energy, your chi, don't don't be so quick to give it away. And if you give it away, give it to your your wife, your woman. If if she <laughs> deserves that, don't give it to somebody you just met, don't even know, and you shouldn't be running around during this whole COVID situation anyway. Free. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Come in. So I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not anybody's preacher, pastor, minister, imam. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm just your brother telling you, protect your essence. Protect your spiritual, physical, and mental essence. You could think it's a joke now if you want to, mm. but, you know, history tells. Look it up. And history tends to repeat itself because people, people, don't, people don't learn. You know what I mean? So... It is what it is. Right, right, right. Well, King, I appreciate you so much dropping your knowledge, dropping your jewels. You just said some powerful things. I hope the world received that and listened, because I know I did, because I needed to hear that. And, and I, I just uh, want to tell you, you keep going. You keep being that legend. You keep 
doing beautiful things in this world. You keep being that that beautiful example of what a black man, well, how a black man should be, you know. Because to me, I mean, you're you're everything, you know. I could go on and on. I, mean, I appreciate you. But I, I I appreciate talking to you today, King. And you know, I want you to you know wish me luck because I'm on a journey. I'm just a little host trying to make it big, trying to start my own little business. I don't think you. I don't think you need luck. You know, I I look. Mm -hmm. I got two hundred and and twelve thousand <laughs> followers. You got four hundred and twelve. I think. I don't think you need luck. You know. <laughs> I, I was talking about this to somebody the other day. I said, it's it's not really about us. As long mm -hmm. as we're giving and we're providing something for other people that can be used and utilized, that's what really makes the difference. Right. I think, you know, we're coming into a time next month where mm -hmm. we're talking about voting. Mm -hmm. Don't be so quick to just vote. Make sure, like Ice Cube said, if you're going to choose somebody to vote, make sure that they're going to deliver your demands. Make sure that you're going to press upon somebody that this is what you desire for your community before you just give away your power, which is your vote or your money. Wherever you spend your money is where you put your power, right? Because right. that empowers somebody else. Right. Economic, economic power is economic freedom. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Lack and limitation don't help nobody. You right. can't be so poor that you make a poor person wealthy. You can't be so sick that you make a sick person well. Right. You have to be the best of the best. Right. Because you're blessed by the best. And so be the best that you can be. Let's stop talking about people. Let's stop laughing at people. Let's stop making mm. fun of people. Think about it. Mm. You know, six months ago, we was on lockdown. Nothing was funny. But now, because we think we have some sense of freedom because we're out and about, what if the government says we're on lockdown again? Nobody's making jokes about anybody no more. Nobody's mm -hmm. teasing anybody no more. Nobody's laughing at anybody anymore. Nobody's talking about how big, how small, how, how, um, how, how funny or not funny. You know, somebody's hairline, not hairline. You know, somebody, you know, their voice texture or not. Like, whatever it is, mm -hmm. it's no longer funny. Homeless is a finger snap away right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not having a job, not having a stimulus mm -hmm. package. Finger snap away. We done seen car accidents before. Mm -hmm. Five minutes, two minutes, one minute, you might have been in that same accident. Mm -hmm. So just give thanks for your protection. So I'm not going to wish luck for you. I'm going to wish that and pray that the Most High continue to bless you continue you. to cover you. I pray for prosperity in your life. I pray for Thank health you. in your life. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I pray and I ask the most high to continue bless you and encourage you. That's what I pray for. We don't need luck. Mm. We need the blessings of the most high. And we need to activate ourselves upon mm -hmm. what we know. Because most people know what to do, but don't do what they know. That came from mm. Tony Robbins. Mm. Tony Robbins says, most people know what to do, but they don't do what they know. And so I just say, let's read and study. I have a book called Intimate Thoughts and the Spirit of Change that you can get on DarrenHenson.com. You can order my t-shirts. If you want to feel empowered all day long, you can just order God's Billboard t-shirts at God's Billboard t-shirts.com. Or just go on, on my homepage on Instagram and just click the URL. It'll take you right there. I just want to say thank you for even being interested. I'm humbled that you asked me. You could have asked anybody. I mean, you got Jamie Foxx out. There, you know what I'm saying? You got Will Smith out. There, people that you could have and you asked me. So I'm humbled and and I'm, I'm that you did. Thank you. A legend. Well, I appreciate you. So, Keith, you can continue you and you continue and you continue being.